What's up everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video you will see one of the most beautiful games ever. Now the craziest thing about this game is that the computer does not understand the beauty of the game. The computer's depth is not deep enough. So without further ado let's just have a look at the game. This was played on chess.com in a 45 plus 45 minute game. One of the more popular time controls on chess.com. So my opponent one random who's a FM started things off with the move 1d3. He was trying to get me out of book, so I just played 1d6 trying to copy him. So I was expecting maybe a bond cloud, which I would answer with a bond cloud. And he played the move d4. Okay, so here I was a bit puzzled. Do I play d5, play symmetrical, or do I play a6? Trying to keep it solid. So he played queen d3, trying to go for some sort of attack with his queen, and I played b6, intending to go for some sort of hippo setup. So he played queen h3, I played bishop, I played h6, all very standard. Nothing really um, dramatic is going on so far. He played queen to d3 and I played g6. Once again, trying to set up the hippo. So he played queen f5, I played e6. Now all my pawns are nicely placed on the 6th rank. He played queen to f6, hitting my rook, so I sidestepped with rook to h7. And he went queen to h8. So it's already a little bit better here, because he has the first piece on my back rank. So I played knight f6, he played h4. Bishop b7, rook h3, bring the rook into the game. I played king e7, proving my king's position a little bit. He played rook to a3, queen d7, rook c3, knight c6, rook c5. I played bishop g7. So now I have nicely elevated my pieces from the 8th and the 7th rank up to the 7th and 6th rank. He goes queen b8, rook a7, queen a8, putting his queen in that corner. So... I was trying to push forward here, so I played the move a5, b3, h5, bishop a3, and I went knight to g4. Crossing the first, crossing the, the fifth rank for the first time. So he played knight to d2, I played knight h2, he went long castles, I played bishop h6, king b1, and f5, trying to expand a little bit more. So he played rook to e5, I played king f6, played knight f3, I played knight to e7, maneuvering my pieces, he went knight to g5, I played knight to d5. Knight f7, and the first check of the game, king b1, and knight b1. I get my first piece on his back rank. So we play knight at d8, I play bishop to c1, getting another piece on the back rank. Now white has two pieces, but black as well. Knight c6, knight f3, queen d8, sidestep with the king, knight b8, and knight e1. So we play knight h3, pawn a4, making progress over there, f3, rook a5, activating my rook, rook to d3, Rook c3. As you guys can see, this is a perfect game. It's not like the bar is swinging up and down. He played knight g4, rook to d1. He played rook a5, queen b5, and he put the rook on the 8th rank. So he played queen e5, knight f6, queen h2, entering the position with my queen. Now I get another piece of the back rank. Play rook c5, g5, making progress right there with my pawns. Go c5, just pushing forward even more. Rook h8, e3, rook f8. Now, this is a tough situation because like he gets his bishop to my back rank and I get my bishop there as well. But the question is how do I get my rook and my king over there and how does the white king cross? So let's have a look at what happened. Well, I played rook a7, I played rook c7, rook b7, c4, making way for the rook. Knight g8, a3, I can't move my rook right now because that would hang my king. So I played king h8 and rook c5, here comes the rook. Because Rook e7, knight e3, bishop e2, knight f2, knight h3, all pretty standard, queen f2, putting the rook in the corner, putting the queen over there. So here it's clear what both sides are trying to do. Both sides are trying to put their pieces on the exact opposite side of the board as from where they would normally start. So white already has the rook here, the knight here, the bishop here, the queen here, and the knight. But now the two kings will have to cross somehow. So I'm queening e8, rook e5, bishop there, rook here, bishop there, queen here. Okay, knight back, rook here, knight here, rook here, bishop here, the queen went here, knight went back, pawn pushed up, rook went here, and after some shuffling, so the king comes off the board, wait for it, pawn goes here, knight goes here. So it looks impossible, right? Like how? Can these kings ever cross? Right, like this king, oh, sorry. Uh, let me draw an arrow back. 
So this king is kind of stuck here, and this king is stuck here as well. But look at what happened. The queen went back, knight put in the corner. Queen went back, queen here. So now my king goes up the board. King e5, king d4, king e3, king f2, and king... Oh, and... So here, in this position, white's king is kind of stuck, right? Like, how does the white king come forward? But when bishop back, knight back, waiting move with the king, now rook. Okay, so king steps to the side, so now white can come forward. There we go. Rook goes into the corner. There goes the knight. There goes the bishop. Back to its initial square. Rook up. Queen here. Put the queen on the d-file. So I brings his king back. Okay, so black now puts his king on e8, on the uh, on e1, sorry. White goes king here. But here, white realized that the king and queen were not placed correctly. The king should be placed on the e-file, of course. So now the queen went to the d-file. Black moved back and forth. Players were closing the position. And in this position, both players were getting low on the clock. As you can see, white only has 2 hours and 2 minutes and 6 seconds. And black only had 1 hour and 55 minutes and 58 seconds. So both players decided that it was just best to repeat the moves. And as you guys can see, this was probably the, one of the most beautiful games ever. Not often do you see white putting all his pieces on the 8th rank. And black putting all his pieces on the 1st rank. So, unfortunately the computer cannot appreciate this beauty if we have a look here it will say that white had a 1.3 percent accuracy and black had a 0 0.8 accuracy as you can see here the bar went up and down but once again the computer does not understand the real beauty it says that 64 wins were missed by black and 66 wins were missed by white but as we saw in the video no mints no wins were missed so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and then I'll see you on see you all in the next one.